guys, welcome back to my channel, The You in Fashion. My name's Megan. On my channel, we discuss fashion, luxury, handbags, and lifestyle. So if you're interested in any of those topics, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notifications bell down below so you don't miss any of my content. So in today's video, we are going to be following up on the last two videos I did, which is comparing the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse to the Louis Vuitton Alma BB. And I did those videos first separately so you guys could kind of have a all-inclusive idea about these handbags, how much they cost, how much they fit, what they look like on the body. So check those out if you haven't already. But in today's video, we're going to do a true comparison between the two of them. So what I'm going to do is pick out the important topics that I feel like I would want to know about handbags in general before I purchase them, and we'll talk about them kind of side by side. I feel like that's a good way to kind of give you guys an idea about both of the handbags. And then in the end of the video, talking about pros, cons, which one I think you should go with first and which one I have found that I get the use out of out of both of them. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. So first of all, let's just take a look at the handbag side by side in general, front, back, and let's kind of compare the descriptors of the bags first. Yeah front of each of the bags look like this. So this one is going to have your front flap for the pochette Matisse and this one it does not have any type of front flap. It opens from the top. We have the back. This one also has a back pocket. The Alma BB does not have any type of back pocket. If we look at the bottoms, this is just a single opening for the Alma BB as far as in the interior. It's just open and I will show you guys that in a second where this one does have the divider in it between the two. When we are looking at the bottom of the bags one thing to consider is this one does have feet on the Ulma BB so definitely may make it a little bit easier to prevent wear to the bottom of the bag. Sides again this is going to be a front closure bag so the sides are a bit different where this zips from side to side and then as far as the strap they both do come with a removable strap. They both remove straps. These remove here on the sides for the pochette Matisse and for the Alma BB they are going to be removable from the handles. They actually have a piece built in here also that they are able to attach to to remove from the handbag. This one does come with your lock and key where the pochette Matisse does not come with a lock and key. It has this little mechanism here that opens in the front, but no lock and key that comes with this one. And then looking at the interior for both, as I mentioned here, th this one has only a single opening so that you put everything in. There's no separations or dividers. It does have a pocket right there as well. Earlier too, it does have the divider in there so it has the two separate compartments along with like a little slip pocket back here that you could probably fit cards or something like that pretty thin in the back of there so that is going to be the difference in the interior of the bags whether you like a one compartment or if you want something with a divider or multiple compartments and just curious with the opening of the bag, since this one has a single opening versus the compartmentalized opening of the, the pochette Matisse, just curious if you guys have these, do you prefer bags that have the divider in the inside or do you prefer the Alma BB where you just have the single opening? Do you find that it's a little bit more difficult to find your items when you just have the single compartment opposed to the separation here with the pochette Matisse. I definitely feel like with the pochette Matisse you can kind of separate your things a little bit easier and have certain things in the back and certain things here in the front making them maybe a little bit easier to identify when it's time to pull them out but I don't usually carry that much for it to be a problem in either one of these handbags. I'm just curious if you guys have them kind of what you think about that. So functionality wise are said to function very similarly as well, which is why I was really excited to compare these for you guys today in the sense that they both have removable crossbody straps and that you also are able to be able to carry them by the top handle as well if you want to take off the strap. So that is definitely something with both of these handbags that categorically 
metaphorically if you're looking for a crossbody and something that you can carry without the strap as well both of those are supposed to fit that mark so now that we've discussed kind of the descriptions you've seen most of the sides of the bag if you want to see more on each of the bag definitely check out those other videos for further descriptions measurements things like that but let's go ahead and move on to price so as far as pricing for both of the bags the pochette matisse is two thousand five hundred and seventy dollars and the alma bb is one thousand seven hundred and sixty dollars and that brings a total of $810 difference wise between these two handbags. So the Pochette Matisse is a bit more expensive than the Alma BB so that if you're looking for a handbag based upon the price or you've saved up a certain amount that's definitely something to consider between these handbags as well is that if you're looking for a handbag where you can use it in both ways but you're looking to pay maybe under that $2,000 mark then definitely the Alma BB is going to be the way to go on that one. Now I want to go into kind of how the bags open and close because this actually fits within some pros and cons about both of the bags, which I find interesting. As far as opening hands down, it's going to be the pochette Matisse that's easier to open. You simply just pinch this right here and it pops right open for you to be able to get in it. And it's especially easy when you have it cross body, it's pretty easy to just pop right open get whatever you need to out of it. Now, as discussed in the previous video, the difficulty with this here is the closure of it after you've opened it though. So right now I currently have it empty so I, that I could show you guys the interior and you're not having to look at all of my junk in there. So when I try to close it, I mentioned this in the last video as well, it's pretty difficult cold to kind of press directly in there. You're almost having to compress the bag, but no issue with that when you have things in it or when it's full. So definitely something with that one for the closure. And I didn't mention this one in the last video, but I wanted to touch on it here today is the opening and closing of the Alma BBs. It does truly take two hands to open and close this. So if you can picture it, I'm gonna try to show you guys here on camera. I usually have to grab it from both sides to kind of get it open and then go ahead and put my things in. And then similarly, taking it back again and trying to close it back. So after reviews that I've read, I feel like mine is fairly easy to open and close. I know some people say in the earlier models, their zippers were not as easy to get up and down, but that is definitely something that I wanted to point out in this video that I forgot to mention is it's not exactly the easiest opening or closing to get into and out of this bag because you are kind of having to unzip from one side to another to be able to get into it, where with the pochette Matisse, it is kind of just like a quick pop open to get to your items in the inside of the handbag. So something to consider as far as trying to get in and out of it and accessibility to whatever you're carrying that day, I would say the Pochette Matisse will win out on that one over the Alma BB. Now for comparison as far as when you are wearing these handbags and what I typically would suggest wearing them with or what they look best with in my opinion. So they both can be very casually worn bags as well. So you can wear both of these very, very casually. Jeans, t-shirt, they look super cute. I really, really like it. I also really like about these handbags that you can get them in several different patterns. So the Pochette Matisse comes in the monogram leather the reverse monogram and also the classic monogram and then the Alma BB is going to come in a epi leather your damier bean that I have here your classic monogram and also the monogram leather as well so both of them have a couple of options even if you're not interested in the exact combinations that I have that can fit into your collection well to kind of add one of these handbags to your handbag collection of which one matches both for your lifestyle and what you enjoy but I really really like the color combinations I've chosen to go with I really really like that I got both of mine with the leather on the handles as well as in the areas that such as here on the front of this one and of course right here as well on the abine so that I don't worry have to worry so much about the 
vachetta and the wearing of the vachetta and the um, darkening over time and also I don't have to worry about if there's anything on my hands that I could be getting onto the leather that would be causing an issue there so definitely 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 like my combinations but they do have plenty of options if you're interested in looking at some of the other ones online. So, as far as what can be worn when so if you're looking for more of a day to night handbag I would definitely say the Alma BB would be the first choice there. I do feel like that transitions a little bit easier into nighttime where my pochette Matisse I would definitely say is more of a daily bag, daily essentials bag. If you're looking for something that you typically are a casual dresser looking for an everyday handbag, the pochette Matisse would be my choice in that case. So they both are really, really good, just depending on what you're looking for. I said this one may transition a little bit easier to nighttime, but to me, this one is definitely your day-to-day, -day, everyday bag to go to. They both hold daily essentials in there without an issue. So that is definitely, if you're looking for casual versus maybe transitioning from day to night, those would be my suggestions for that category. So now let's talk about what fits in my handbag in the sense of do I have to worry about one of them holding things and the other one not holding as much. So when I did the what fits inside video for both of these handbags, definitely check that out if you haven't already. That wasn't really an issue. They both will hold your daily essentials. I put the exact same things in both of these handbags so that you guys could get an idea about what fits inside of them so it won't bore you with doing that all over again today but just know if you're looking for a handbag that can carry your daily essentials both of these should be able to fit that for you with no problem as long as you don't carry a whole lot of things on a daily basis now as far as the straps on here like i said they are both removable so the pochette matisse they remove from here and the pochette matisse does have the adjustable strap where the alma bb has all also the removable straps but the strap is not adjustable so if you watched my last videos about both of these handbags that was one of the big standouts for me was the adjustable strap in the pochette Matisse so if you are petite I would definitely go with the pochette Matisse if you are on the taller side either one should fit you fine this one even though the strap is not adjustable I feel like it looks great on taller people where this one does give that flexibility for no matter what height you are I feel like this when it's going to adjust well to you especially with me being 411 it looks fantastic so that I wanted to throw in here too adjustable strap to me is a big 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 deal <laughs> let's talk about top handle capability so if we look are looking for a top handle bag this one is definitely going to be the one to go with because it does have a true top handle and the ability for you to be able to carry it on the crook of your arm as well where your pochette matisse is strictly just meant to be carried like this you're really not going to be able to stick your hand through there so if you're like I have plenty of crossbody bags I really like to add a top handle bag this one would likely fit that description of what you're looking for a little bit better if you're looking for a top handle handbag than the pochette Matisse. So now for the mod shots you guys which is one of the most important parts of these videos I feel like is seeing them truly side by side on me on the body so the first view that I give you guys is just using them both as top handle I show you kind of side by side I turn to the side so you can see the different angles of the bags of me holding it top handled I also show you the difference between how I kind of can carry the Elma BB on the crook of my arm versus only being able to carry the pochette Matisse just as a top handle your arm hand is not going to fit through there so please Please do not think that you'll be able to carry that as a true top handle as far as if you want to carry on the crook of your arm because you will be disappointed and then I wanted to kind of show you guys the comparison of the straps while I had them there side by side so as you can see the Alma BB because it is not adjustable is pretty significantly longer than the pochette Matisse strap especially when I have them kind of side by side like that you can truly see the difference once I've adjusted mine down to the shortest length as you can see, of course, the straps that come with them just overall are different. The Alma BB strap does come very much more dainty and sleek in the sense that it is skinnier. It is the color of the leather that you have on
on the handbag. And similarly to the reverse monogram, it is a little chunkier for the handbag and also is the same color as the reverse monogram piece. If you have the classic monogram, of course, it's all monogram. I also wanted to show you guys that the even the clasp are a little bit different in the sense that the Pochette Matisse clasp is a bit chunkier and the Alma BB clasp is definitely tinier and I do feel like they do that to make the Alma B a little bit more classy, dainty, out on a nice evening where the Pochette Matisse is definitely more of a bag that's made to use more casually and I feel like they put these different features on the bags for those reasons. So I did want to go ahead and move though into the crossbody and I feel like this is where you're going to be like, oh, now I see what she means because as you can see, the crossbody strap just makes a huge difference being able to be adjustable. It's really, really hard for me to wear my Alma BB as a crossbody because it is genuinely just so long on me that it doesn't even really look like how a true crossbody bag should look so it kind of limits even the way that I can wear the handbag. I typically end up just wearing it as a top handle bag because I don't really love the length for the crossbody strap. Where the pochette Matisse I feel like fits perfectly when I have it adjusted to the smallest setting. I love exactly where it hits. It hits truly on my hip where I feel like most crossbody handbags should hit and I feel like when you're looking at these comparisons you can just clearly see the difference of how these wear on the body and I love that the pochette Matisse fits a little closer to the body where the Alma BB does stick out just a teensy bit when you have it. It definitely doesn't lay flush to the body as much as the pochette Matisse. Final thoughts and which one would I choose? So I hope that I gave you a lot of comparisons. We talked about the features of the handbag, we talked about the price comparisons, we talked about different things that come with the handbag, such as the adjustable straps, how they fit, what they hold. I hope I gave you pretty much all the details you could be looking for in comparison of these two handbags. Now let's go ahead and move on to our final impressions and what choice I would choose if this was one of your first handbags. So if you watched my last video on the Pochette Matisse, you'll know that I absolutely love, love, love this handbag. I feel like it is a great first Louis Vuitton handbag. I feel like it's a perfect crossbody handbag. If you want to carry it top handle, you can. And I feel like this is a great everyday bag. So when you're looking for that very first Louis Vuitton bag that you've saved up for and you want to wear it everywhere and anywhere, this one would be the one for me. Like we talked about earlier, maybe one of the cons is it wouldn't be your go-to bag if you're like going out to a nice dinner. But I feel like that's okay. If you if it's your very first handbag, you're really wanting to be able to wear it on a regular everyday basis than just out to nice dinners when you go. So again, first choice would be the Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. Love, love, love it. Now that doesn't mean I'm sleeping on the Alma BB though, okay? As you guys know, I purchased this one first actually before I purchased the Pochette Matisse. And I purchased it first because I actually had it in Epi Leather Black first. I really, really loved it, but I sold that one a while ago because I had other black handbags that I was wearing more. So it was on my wish list for a very, very long time to get another one, and that's when I got this one. So what I I love about the Alma BB and what I loved initially about it was it is also very good just to grab and go and take anywhere with you. I feel like it looks great with a lot of different outfits and I really 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 like the style of the bag. I, I really like the Alma style. I feel like it's really cute, really classic. You can't go wrong with that. It's going to be around for a very long time. And I loved the BB size as well. It was so small and so cute. And that's what really attracted me to it in the beginning. I also like that if you're wanting to go to a nice dinner or out somewhere nice, you can just pull the little straps off and carry it just like this, which I feel like also really, really, really elevates the style of the handbag without the shoulder strap kind of hanging alongside it. And I love that they made the areas to attach the straps up here. It makes them a little easily hidden so that you really can't even see that it truly can be turned into a crossbody bag where in my opinion part of what makes this one a little bit more casual is that they have them kind of attached right there on these on the edge so you can still see the little clip there that you connect it to even when you have the strap off which 
Of course, it doesn't look bad. I'll go ahead and take off the other one so you guys can even see the full effect of that. So it doesn't look bad without it, but it definitely is not as well hidden, I would say, since they are directly there on the sides as the Almond BB is, but I still think it looks great, just like this too. So all in all, which one would I go with first? Definitely the Pochette Matisse, but I love both of these handbags. You really can't go wrong. I hope that if you're on the decision of one of these handbags, that this one pushes you over the edge one way or another on one of these handbags. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching as always. Bye.